Here in Beteta, I take the executive decision to finish my the first part of the Montañas Vacías. I'm going to Madrid. That's it. We are gonna pause Montañas Vacías and start heading to Madrid, the capital of Spain. It's a beautiful road that leads to Madrid. Very nice. Very nice landscapes, Spain. I took advantage of the fountain and the rest area to shave, wash myself a little bit and wash my cycling clothes because uh, I could smell myself and that's not a good thing. In these villas, there is nothing. No grocery store, there was a bar, but it was closed. Nothing. Still looking for a place to camp. It's pretty dark. There is a spring, beautiful church. Tortellini are cooling down. That was my kitchen, my, my <clears throat> adobe for the night. I'll take you to my dining room now. Yes, I do have a dining room. You think uh, dirt bags don't have dining rooms? We do. Look at this. This is my beautiful, beautiful dining room. Tortellini. Tortellini is a way of life. Road to Madrid. Uh, tonight I should be in the capital, hopefully. and it will be mostly paved roads. I'm about 100, 110 kilometers from the, from the metropolis. Even close to the capital, there's not much population. There are some villages, but in between, there is nothing getting closer to Madrid. And I'm flying to Madrid. Seriously, look at the average. The average is so high, mostly because uh, two folds. First of all, paved roads. After uh, like eight days of dirt roads, being unpaved, you fly. And the second uh, most important factor is uh, it's, it, it was mostly downhill. So that's a thing. That's Madrid, the capital of Spain. Nice. Let's enter Madrid. The quality of the water of the river in uh, Madrid is not exactly like the high Tahoe a couple of days ago. That's it. One little hill and I'm in the metropolis of Madrid. One little push. to get into the city. That's it. I'm in Madrid. Estadio Metropolitano. The stadium where Atletico Madrid plays. This coming up is Ponte Toledo. And... What's on the other side is the center of Madrid, it's the city of Madrid. Underneath there isn't much water, it's mostly another park. There's a bit of water in the middle. And after the Puente de Toledo, Toledo's bridge, there is a Puerta de Toledo, one of the Gates of Madrid. Look at this. 
Es decir, la playa mayor de Maina Square of Spain. I mean, there, uh, of Madrid, but there are other big squares. Just this is the Plaza Mayor. I don't even think bikes are allowed here. It's a pedestrian area. Let's see if we exit from here. Maybe not. Ejército del aire. And in front of us, Arco de la Victoria. Rumbo Cuenca. Madrid is at my back. Getafe is coming up. And uh, I'm heading to Cuenca. And after Cuenca, I will go back to Montañas Bastias. Pleasant temperature. Today it's uh, 37 degrees Celsius, of course. And yeah, it's all good. Road to Cuenca. Now, in a couple of days, uh, it will get very cold. Very cold. Only 24 degrees on Sunday. It's that time of the year in Spain. Almonds are getting ready. That's my snack. These olive trees are massive. Very, very old. Hundreds, hundreds of years. Yet another Via Verde, a greenway. Bike lane that replaced the old railway. Grapes. Grapes. They are one or two days away, but still good. Good and sweet. I think these guys are thirsty. <laughs> You like it, huh? You have somebody. Yeah, go ahead. I like grapes. Now figs. Figs. If this milk gets in touch with your lips, it burns them. Basically, it burns through proteins. It's a defense mechanism of the figs, but we only eat what's in the middle. Still on the Via Verde. Well, it's a little lie. It is a Via Verde, but it's a different Via Verde than before. At some point I switched Via Verde. Very, very pleasant ride. It was uh, climbing for a long while, and now we, we go down to a little village and then uh, back to climbing. Very dry. I can't wait to get to the village to refill my bottles for the night as well. The day is winding down. I think it's time to find a place to camp. I was on a dirt road and there was a nice place to camp, but I was like, let's do a little bit more. And now I'm stuck on this road. Maybe there is uh, some forest coming up. Maybe there is a nice place to camp. A hundred and one kilometers. Yeah, I think I did, uh, I did good. I left late as well. Good morning. Tortellini is ready. Here is where I camped. And last night I, I pitched my tent, I was in bed, I was reading a little bit, checking out something on the internet. 
I was bare chested, it was very warm. And then I felt something on my back. I reached out and took something and it was a tick. I posted on Instagram just to get confirmation. Uh, I'm a bit bothered. It's the first time in eight years cycling around the world that I have a tick in my tent and on my skin. I don't think it bite me because I remove it like if it was an end, you know, effortlessly. And uh, then this morning I woke up and there was a, a tick outside, um, outside my tent. It's, um, yeah, I don't know. And I thought ticks like uh, grass and dry places and uh, sorry humid places and grass but i don't know where i got the tick uh, last night i went to inside this little forest it's uh, pine trees and i went to check if there was a place i could uh, like a flat um, place where i could camp maybe you crawl into it i don't know i don't know how i got into my tent and on my skin I check very carefully my clothing and uh, I didn't see any. And also this morning I passed again my hand through my skin to see maybe, maybe I still had a, another tick, a tiny, tiny one attached and then they grow overnight because they suck the blood. But it seems okay. Yeah, it kind of bothers me. And also, uh, when I was in Montañas Vacia, something bite me on my, around my belly button. And uh, I still have a, a, ra a red uh, mark here. And now I'm thinking, what if it was a tick and I didn't see it? So, because uh, when I was in uh, when I was in Madrid, I was thinking, why does this thing not heal? You know. So maybe today I will stop the pharmacy and get uh, my back checked, and also I will show this thing or go to a doctor. I don't know. There is a couple of villages I go through, and today is Friday, so should everything should be open. I just checked on Google Map, but. There's not going to be a pharmacy in a very long while. There's a village here on the right, but no pharmacy. I'm going straight. First climb is in the bag. I go down and there is another... Well, then the... The road basically goes up climbing till uh, almost Cuenca. It goes up a hill and then you go down to Cuenca, but it's gonna be a long kind of climb. Beautiful. Beautiful landscape, minus the fucking ticks. Oops. I need to be gentle on my pads. The front pad is almost gone, so I need to be gentle. And then either today or tomorrow, I will just change the pads. Quiet country road, paved, but nice. Nobody's around. Nobody in their right mind goes out in the middle of the day. What time is it? It's almost 2 p.m. So this is siesta time. But the, the next two hours are the, well, the next three hours are the hottest of the day. Beautiful, beautiful countryside. Fucking tick stop.
when a tablet of chocolate can become a chocolate spread. End of summer colors. I'm about uh, 15 kilometers to Cuenca. So I might stop before Cuenca and camp so that I can do everything tomorrow morning. I can go to the pharmacy. I can take a few pictures of the city and uh, I can hit Mercadona and resupply for uh, Montañas Vacías. We supplied water. I resupplied water on, in this village. And now basically it's all the way down to Cuenca. So hopefully I don't end up in a humid valley. I think I will camp in one of those uh, little hills. Last night I didn't sleep very much with the with the story of the ticks. So tonight I want to sleep uh, a little longer. Sunflowers. Very good. Grapes in the morning. The best. That's where I camped last night. It was a nice place there, but too close to the bees. There's loads of uh, bee boxes. I think this is the Playa Mayor de Cuenca. I just climbed up to the Plaza Mayor, then down, I crossed this bridge. I think in 82,000 kilometers I've never been so scared. <laughs> it's, uh, it's made with wood platforms that they shake. And when people go past you, I will stop to take some pictures. Everything really shakes. And it's very high, at least, I don't know, 50 meters. All right, so... I've done a little tour of Cuenca, old city as well. Nice and charming. Finally leaving Cuenca. There was a, there was a bit of rain earlier. So I just, uh, luckily I was a Burger King. But now it looks like it's gonna rain again. The temperature dropped a lot, and tomorrow is gonna rain again. The storm has gone. At least for this evening, it might start raining again tomorrow morning, very early, around six, from six to 10. It could be raining, and then again in the afternoon. Pleasant evening though. It's gonna be very humid tonight, this, tonight, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful landscapes. Oh, there's a village. I got some grapes and I think I'm gonna camp there. Sweet, very sweet. Checking out where to camp. Buenos dias. Last night I left you eating grapes. Then I pitched my tent here. Great spot to camp. It was uh, placed conveniently, just in case it was gonna rain this morning. And it didn't. Look, it's very windy. The sky is almost clear because of the wind. But it did rain last night. There 
was a big shower around uh, midnight. But uh, uh, luckily this week, this morning was very windy and it kind of dry for the most part. Uh, I packed the tent. It was mostly dry. The temperatures dropped a lot. Today, the forecast is for the highest temperature is going to be 21 degree. Maybe with the, with the wind chill, it's going to be a bit less. So it was uh, 36, 37 a few days ago. So it's like half of the temperature, basically. It's quite chilly. I was, uh, I was a bit cold living my time. That's why I put on this, uh, this wind breaker. Let's keep going, Betita, and let's get back to Montañas Vacias. The sunflowers are beautiful. Back on the road towards Betita. It's gonna be a bit of climbing later. Nothing too crazy, but Betita is uh, about I think 400 meters higher than here. This village is called La Frontera. I don't know why we are in the middle of Spain and this village is called the border. Maybe it's border in between two provinces. La Frontera. The road I was following goes through a tunnel, but apparently the sign post says bicycles are not allowed, so I'm doing this climb. There is a pass up here. My right eye hurts a little bit today. The external part. Last night, I got a, a branch of the oak tree, had a little collision with my right eye and the external part had some bruises and so now it hurts a little bit especially getting sweaty i was very lucky i could have just pierced through my eye i didn't really see the branch it was uh, it was dark already and uh, i didn't want to turn on uh, my headlight to attract uh, attention you know anyway no major damage to my eye just the external skin it was raining a few minutes ago now the cloud has been pushed out i wonder what they make here very smoky Meteta, 11 kilometers. Almost there. Peteta, I made it back. Made it back to Montañas Vacias. I guess this concludes this episode.